Hey there everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Classic Chris. I open Pokemon cards, as you know. Hope you guys are enjoying your Corona break, because I know I am. I'm not really having a break, because I'm essential apparently, but still working hard as I can to provide these videos. I know I haven't been here in quite some time to make a video, but today I'm hoping to get it back up with a little twist, and those little twists are these special edition Tim Hortons NHL trading cards. There's only three in a pack, so we're gonna open multiple up at the same time to try to go through them all and see if we get anything good. But as a Pokemon collector, this wouldn't be the correct thing to open on this site if, if I didn't have something of Pokemon to, to open. So, so I got this new figurine collection, Sword and Shield, I think it should be okay because it's the new Rebel Clash. I haven't really opened much of the Rebel Clash. I think this would be like the first time I tried Rebel Clash. I don't know what's good in them. I do like that little artwork of the Pikachu with the three starters. The action figure, ballin'. Because I can add them to these guys, which would be dope. But let's go ahead and open up the box here just so we can get that out of the way. Just kind of somehow rip this guy apart. Oh, there we go. Perfect. We'll save the promo card for a little bit later. But there's the little statue of all three of them, which is really, really cute because he's, he's just on a bunch of rocks. They're all just facing forward. Sobble just kind of looks depressed, but that that's that's normal for Sobble. But don't, don't worry. I, I feel for him. It's all good, buddy. But here we go. Here's the four packs that I've been, I've been dying to open. There's the code card for the entire box set in case anybody wanted to claim that. Because it's a pretty good box set. It comes with four packs. So online, I can't see it doing too, too badly. Okay, so we have four packs of the Pokemon cards. And we actually have quite, quite a bit of the hockey cards. So... I'm thinking we open three of the hockey cards to so one Pokemon card just to keep it fair and to keep you guys in tuned. So I think we should start off with a hockey pack. Uh, I think three of them should do. I'm just going to keep them all face down and just open all three at once. Just in case there is any kind of good ones that I, I don't really know about because I'm not a hockey collector. I'm more of a Pokemon collector if you haven't seen my videos. This is kind of like a like a special edition thing where our Tim Hortons had a promo where you could just buy hockey cards. It is it's pretty cool. It's a little little neat spin-off. Alright, here we go. So we have I'm sorry if I pronounced the names wrong. We have Andre Vala whatever that says. We have a, ooh, that, I, I know that one. That's a John Traveris card. That is a game day action card. So I, I'm going to put those ones off to the side because little border ones and red ones I know have a different kind of value to them. So hopefully I get uh, some, some pretty good ones. I got a Josh Bailey as a normal card. Got a Taylor Hall. Ooh, what's this? We got a Steven Stamkos as a gold etchings border that's not too bad I, I i'm gonna put that right beside the john javaris we have an anthony mantha that's my favorite team by the way the the detroit red wings don't know why they're my favorite team i just i just always liked them when i was a kid <laughs> uh we have jack etchell and we have ooh a highly decorated card of jonathan toes that's i'll take that that's a that's a really cool card looking and for our final one, we have Devin Dubunk, or du Dubnik. I don't know. I don't know. Hockey players usually come from across seas, and they always have some weird names that I usually have no idea how to pronounce. Alrighty, everybody. Now we're on to a Pokemon pack. The moment you've all been kind of waiting for. I, uh, I, I really want to know what's in these packs. I, I haven't seen a thing about them. So I think, I think this should be a little fun pack. 
if I do say so myself. Here's the code card, let it focus in, because I know it needs to do that. One, two, and three to the front, and we get rid of the Psychic Energy. It knows things that we don't. We start off with a Hollow Sand, followed by a Milo, Truffield Stadium, Phantom, Bronzor, Toxil. He's a cool Pokemon in the new Sun and, Sun and Sword. She, <laughs> ah, Sword and Shield game because I can't talk right now. The Duremka, we have a little cute little SQ. Oh, I never could find that one in the game. And on the very end, we just have a normal, but chillax, snorlax. Yeah. All right. That was one Pokemon pack down. That means we get to do three more hockey cards. Woo! Now I am Canadian, so opening hockey cards should be my thing. I know it. I know it. We're, I'm Canadian, and I'm supposed to like hockey. I'm supposed to have a favorite Canadian hockey team, but I'm sorry, uh, my heart's with the Detroit Red Wings. They just had uh, the best, one of the best danglers on their team. It was Pavel, pa Pavel Datsuk, and oh, he, he was my friggin' hero. Loved him. Then he had to go back to Russia and uh, be with his family, so I, I can understand why he, uh, he went back, but I still like the team regardless. So, in this stack of hockey cards, we start off with a uh, Jonathan Quick. Ooh, we got another Steven Stamkos uh, gold etching, so that, that's a double already. Uh, we got a Patrick Lane. We Ooh, okay, we got a game day action Carey Price. He's a, he's a pretty good goalie, I know that. An Aaron Ekblad. A Elias Lindholm. Ooh, that's a red Steven Stamkos. I wonder what the red cards are, are worth nowadays. Got an Alexander Barkov. Oh, that's it. Okay. All right. All right. So out of that one, we got a gold and a red. So that ain't too bad. A little, uh, little bit of gold. Little bit of gold for the goblin. All right. And now for a Pokemon pack. Let's see what we have in store for these ones. Dun, 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 dun. We start off with giving away the code card. Bye-bye. We go one, two, three to the front. We draw the fairy type energy. Now don't get you started. I ain't I ain't that way with the fairy type. You know what I'm saying. We got the Mallow and Lana. We have the Probo Pass. They got the Igly Buff, Tangela. Eevee, oh, look how cute Eevee is in the rain. Just standing out there waiting for his trainer to come by. A Duskull, Time Pole, Flebebe, and a, a Reverse Lantern. That's that's pretty cool. And on the very end, we ah, still nothing yet. Just a normal Wimishcott. Whatever you want to pronounce it. Either way, still not what we're looking for. On to the next. We have three more hockey cards. After this... It's going to be more hockey cards, and more Pokemon cards, and more everything cards. I, I, I need more cards. You can never get enough of cards. Collector never stops collecting, you know? Never. Even when you think it's uh, too late in the game, it's never, never too late to start. So... Any of you out there watching this that kind of stopped collecting, I wouldn't call it stopped. I would call it prolonging. All right, in this hockey pack, we have Alexander. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Ooh, another red card, a Mark Sheffley. That's pretty nice. A Andre Lee, a Brock Bozier, a Nathan McKinnon. I heard of him. He's pretty good one. He's a game day, so I'm going to put that one off to the side. Another Anthony Marth, aren't the, a Miro, I, I'm not even going to try for that one, a Mark Sheffley, did I get a Mark Sheffley just now? Oh, I did, I did, I, so I got the game day and the, and the red card of Mark Sheffley, that's pretty cool, and a regular Joe Thornton, I know Joe, Joe Thornton is, uh, is up there in one of the fan favorites, so 
Let, let me know if uh, you like him, because he's getting pretty old, too. He's been with the league for quite many years, so it's almost time for him to say take his bow, you know? On to a Pokemon pack. Still yet to see anything uh, half decent, but maybe that's what the luck's building up to. Maybe, maybe I'll get something good on this one. We got the code card. We have one, two, three to the front, and we get rid of... Oh, I'm feeling the blaze from this fire energy. I'm feeling it. Let's go. Got the Pokeball to start off with. A Lampent, a Halucha, Barboach, Scoviet, Applin, Time Pole, Trubbish. Oh, that's cool. The Toxtricity with the yellow. I like the yellow one over the blue one, but that, that's a cool hollow. And on the very end... Ooh, okay, we got a, we got a Flapple. A, a Flapple. Like, no joke. That is his name, Flapple. He is a flying apple. But the but the the hollow's not not too bad. I mean, they really dulled it down in this version, but at least we got a hollow. That's not too bad. All right, and we have oops. Oh, there goes all them's. <laughs> we got three more hockey cards to open here, and back on to the Pokemon. All right, and our last stack of hockey cards. Let's see who and what we get. We got a Jack Etrel to start. Followed by a Colin White, uh, Matthew Tychuk. Uh, we have a Patrick Kane as a highly decorated card. That's pretty good. A Sean Cotier. Oh, I see a red card. That's that's really good. I'll save him for a little bit. Nicholas Backstrom. A John, another Jonathan Toes red card. Okay. A Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Now he's a pretty good player too. I'm not gonna lie. Now, in a different pack. There were some cards that I did get, and I, I I got a certain someone that I believe is a really good hockey player, and I believe he's one of the best in the NHL right now. It's not him. This is just like the pack I, I opened earlier. Uh, we got Ryan Pulling, Martin Jones, a highly decorated Joe Thornton, which you saw earlier, and... On this last pack, I, I really don't expect him to go for much, but I did manage to pull a Connor McDavid. He is a really good player. I don't know if the basic card will go for as much. I know the red card is better. I know the highly decorated card of him is better. So it really depends on who is looking for the Connor McDavid because he might be common as anybody else. Okay, so our final pack is actually... A Sun and Moon Guardian Rising, which I I thought I was gonna get for Sword and Shield, but no, I I did not. Oh well, let's uh, let's see if we get anything good from this pack. All right, yoink! I know this this set wasn't really too inglorious, but there's that code card one two three and get rid of. The grass type energy. Start off with a Haku Omo, a Energy Lolo, a Machoke, a Lowland Sandshrew, Merc Crow, Heal Up Batile, Machop, Slowpoke, and we have a reverse Del Delphines, or whatever you pronounce it. And on the very end, Lilligant. So nothing too amazing on those packs, but again, wasn't really expecting much in four packs. Because I, I really had all these hockey cards to go through, which I will look up later to see what kind of value they are. Especially the red cards. Those are, those are really nice cards. But if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, give it a subscribe. And I'll try to get more videos out more. If you like the hockey cards, let me know. I might be able to get more, just not the Tim Hortons ones. But if you are collecting the Tim Hortons ones and you see a couple that you want... Let me know, I can give them to you to finish the collection, because I know how hard that is. But until then, enjoy yourselves a nice corona break, because who knows how long that's going to last. I'll be out here working, maybe see you soon. Have a good one. Peace out.